for those of you new to Life on the Level, the Dizzies are these much coveted awards. Um, and it's kind of our way of celebrating when people do great things for the group, for members, or for the the balanced community as, as a whole. Um, as far as we know, no one else does this anywhere in the world. Uh, and I can tell you they are rarer than the Oscars. Um, so I'm going to dive in now and try and share screen. And the, there's five or six categories. Uh, there is a judging panel of five of us who run through nominations and who we think um, deserves deserves the, the awards. Um, there are three categories which are nominated by the, the members as well. So I will now try and share screen. Uh, and RuPaul, is anything coming through at the moment? Yeah, yep. yeah, we can see the screen. That's good. I shall try now. And is that working for you? Yep, perfect. Yep, you can see the, the large screen. That's good. Um, so I will now try and work my way, way through it. Welcome to the Dizzies. Um, the first section we like to go to is all about clinicians, um, those experts that come into contact with their group with the group. And it really is difficult to do this because as you're seeing today with the three panelists, um, everyone gives so much and they're giving their own time, they're sharing their, their knowledge, their wisdom, their experience with us. So it really, really is difficult to pick out those that have, have done something new or something outstanding. Um, but we have to do this, we have to try. So it's with great pleasure that I announced the, the first Dizzy this year goes to someone who's with us at the moment. Um, if I can get my screen to change. And it's Hannah Ryan, Dr. Hannah Ryan, which I, again, I'll try and bring you in on the uh, screen at the moment. It's, it's rather difficult with, there we go, I'll try and bring you in. Um, and why the award for Hannah? We felt the presentation she gave recently, only, only a couple of months ago, it was superb. It, w it was aimed um, predominantly at, at explaining how we could be kind to ourselves, how we, we needed to not beat ourselves up, not be too hard on ourselves when we, we were suffering with so many challenges, so many physical challenges and psychological ones. But the amazing thing about Anna's presentation was how she shared her own personal journey with us um, and talked us through the many challenges she had herself, uh, a lot of this to do with life in general, but then with her career and, and you know, how she fought through to, to do what she does now, the qualifications and doing such a great job. There were so many members were moved by this. We, we had a record number of e emails coming in after the presentation um, that just spoke of how well this had resonated with them. And, and we've added here to the slide, I don't know if you can read it or not, um, from one member, Hannah was able to convey how we can learn to adapt our lives in order to accommodate a balanced disorder. This is such a vital skill which enables us to continue to see ourselves as functioning people rather than simply defining ourselves by our illness. And Dr. Ryan was highly inspirational. So thank you very much, Anna, for, for what you've done. And congratulations on winning the Dizzy. This, this will find its way to you in the post sometime around Christmas. Um, but if you, I don't know if you want to say just a, a few words, if you want to unmute, thank you. Um, I mean, I, I feel equally absolutely mortified and uh, <laughs> equally <laughs> really, really moved and really touched. I'm so grateful. I think that's just so kind and gracious. I think it says much more about you all than it does about me. It was only a one-off um, and it was my pleasure and a privilege to speak to you all as 
one of you and I'm a bit uncomfortable with the expert stance even um, and it's it's a pleasure a pleasure and a privilege to be back again today um, so thank you so much this is really kind and I'm very embarrassed so uh, thank you very much and that's all I'll <laughs> say on it. Thank you don't, don't be embarrassed now unusually um, this first category there is normally only one winner uh, but there was another exceptional contribution earlier this year. Um, and again, we're quite quite lucky that the other winner we have with us is Professor Peter Ray. Um, this was... Uh, P Professor Ray has been a fabulous supporter of the group ever since we started in 2018. Um, and I would say we couldn't have been as effective as we have without his help over the years but this year he pulled together a presentation that he, he gave in june a meeting in june and it's not only my opinion uh, but almost everyone who's watched the, the video since then the presentation was the the best single piece of content we've ever seen that ran through the most common balance conditions uh the the causes the treatment and it was a real tour de force of balance conditions. And the fact Professor Ray put this pulled this all together for us was was fabulous. And I can now tell you that many new members go to that content the very first thing they do. And within days I'll receive emails saying how amazing that content has been in changing their their lives so quickly so thank you professor ray for for all you've done um and especially for that content this year well, so we're all done and there is another dizzy uh, coming your way well i i do thank you that's incredibly kind of you and i don't, I don't know if the screen is showing or not but I, I do also have my previous award, which I so I'll have them both next to each other. But actually, it's been a, a very interesting year of reflection. Uh, as Kevin kindly said, I was elected uh, the president of the Royal Society of Medicine section of otology, so that's the ear surgeons this year, which is probably the biggest honour I, I can be given as a surgeon um, in the UK. Uh, and one of the things you have to do as president is give an hour's lecture, but not an hour's lecture about medicine, but an hour's lecture about yourself and the great and the good and my family and teachers from 30 plus years ago turned up to the the talk and the theme of the talk i'm actually going to give you a few slides on in the, in the short talk i'm going to give you after this um and and the theme was i hear therefore i am so obviously a play on i think therefore i am and just reflecting on, on what was important in my career and what got me to where I got to, um, I discussed with patients, and one, I don't know if the patients are actually watching at the moment, if you are, really good to see you, um, came up with a, with a phrase that there's their company's motto, which is, good people know good people. And actually, this really resonated with me, and I put this as a core theme in my lecture. And the reason I'm saying this now, as uh, this award isn't for me, and it's very kind of you to give it to me, Kevin and Life on the Level. But actually, it, it's an award for all of us because having had this opportunity to reflect on my whole career and my life and what's gone on in it, I realised what I am is no more than the sum of what I've been taught. And I've been taught by, sure, hard work and you know slogging till two in the morning every night for 30 years. But much more I've been taught by the amazing teachers and other doctors I've had during my career and by the amazing patients that I've treated over the years. And every single patient I've seen, I've learned something from. And I hope that comes out in the talks and presentations that I give. And I'm reflecting not just medical science, but also the experience of our patients and, and that's what this group is all about, with good people coming together to help each other. So good people know good people is a theme. And that's a really great motto. Um, and congratulations to Kevin um, for bringing together this group of good people 
who are here to help each other. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Very good. Very good. So moving on to the next category, uh, Outstanding Member Contribution of the Year. Uh, and this is for one of our own members who has done something that gives us hope, insight or help, practical help. Um, and it, it may be for just the members or so it may be beyond the, the, the group itself. And we love to recognise that, that contribution. Uh, and there was one major one this year, which unfortunately the winner can't be with us today. But the winner is Tracy Hudson. Um, some of the the uh, current members will recall Tracy joined last year. Uh, she's an expert in uh, employment, UK employment and HR. Uh, she runs her own consultancy in this, but she also suffers with chronic balance problem, hence her joining the, the group. Um, as many of you members will possibly personally be aware there is there is far too much discrimination going on in the workplace when people go down with balance conditions um, unfortunately great loyal long-term employees can find themselves being cast aside um, possibly uh, partly to do with the hidden nature of our conditions uh, you look so well, you can't possibly be ill. And the the other common complaint by an employer is, I don't understand this, you were fine on Monday, and then you ring on Tuesday saying you can't walk. Um, it's far easier if we break a leg and have it wrapped in plaster, everybody gets it. So because of that, the, there has been a history of a lot of discrimination in, in the employment place. Tracy uh, volunteered to, to work with us to tell us what we needed to know um, if we find ourselves in, in that position. Uh, and one interesting thing, I'll repeat it now for anyone who watches this, because uh, most balance conditions do qualify as a hidden disability, you are protected, certainly in the UK, uh, by very strong laws uh, against discrimination against any form of, of disability. The difference that makes, if you are unfairly dismissed, if you lose your job unfairly, if the employer doesn't go through the correct policy, um, as well as going to a tribunal, the tribunal would normally be capped to a certain amount of money um, relevant to your salary. If they are found guilty of discriminating on the grounds of disability, there is no cap. That can cost an employer an awful lot of money. And we like everyone to know that because we don't want people to lose the jobs and go to a tribunal. We want the employers to do the right thing and work with their employees. Um, and you'll find Tracy's also created a web section for us that offers up this advice. Uh, she did a fabulous presentation in July. And beyond that, she's also now giving her own time on one-to-one -one consultations with our members who find they have a problem at work. So with all that, um, there was only going to be the one winner this year, and that's Tracy. So congratulations, Tracy. I, I don't believe she's on if she is speaker now, but uh, as, as of yesterday, when I was trying to trick her to attend the meeting without telling her she'd won, she said she couldn't be with us. Um, but well done, Tracy, and fabulous work you've, you've done for the group and everyone else who has a balance problem that can see your content. So well done. Thank you. There was the picture of it. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot to add. She did. She did actually say this. Uh, she thought she was coming on today to talk about a little bit about what she does. Um, so when she said she couldn't be with us, uh, she did say, "Feel free to throw up a pic of me and tell everyone I'm friendly and lovely and happy to help." And that's typical of Tracy. How uh, how well she's worked with us. So next category. 
Best Balance Friend of the Year, non-group member. Um, quite simply, that's a friend to one of our members, but they're not themselves a member. Uh, so that could be a partner, an employer, a doctor, anyone, anyone out there who's not a member of the group, but has done something to help that member. And you, and I should add, uh, with all these these nominations, the judges, myself, one of them, we have to work through many, many nominations, and there's some brilliant brilliant nominations out there but there can only be one winner um so it's sort of congratulations to many others who we know what you've been doing we even know who you are through the nominations but there is can only be one winner and i hope that that winner is with us today we'll find out in a moment because the winner is emlyn taylor Husband to Susie Taylor. Now, RuPaul, can you see anyone out there waving or saying they're here? Susie or Emlyn? Can't Are see. they on there? Can't see them. Yes, here we go. I think there was a yes. Susie here. Wait, hang on Brilliant. a second. Let me see if I can pin them. There we go. Fabulous. Okay, so I will quickly work through this. This was the nomination was from Susie. Um, we've edited this down a little, but I, I'll, I'll quickly run through some of what Susie sold us. When Susie went down with her own balance um, problems, Emily was there. He, he researched, he found out about vestibular physio, drove her to the appointment, sat with her, helped her at home. He found life on the level. Um, and got in touch with us to get Susie joined up. He sat with Susie when she first attended a meeting and was in flood of tears, listening to the fact she was not alone and there were many others going through what she was going through. Emlyn's been a rock, encouraging her, pushing her to do things, uh, but there to support when occasionally it was too much. He encourages Susie to be positive, reassures her, um, and the year's been really tough, but thanks to Emlyn, she's made the progress that she's made. So the judges, we, we felt it was a brilliant example because it can be so difficult for partners. Um, as we all know, anyone who has not personally experienced a dizzy condition it's really really hard to imagine how devastating it can be how it how it really can can affect every aspect of our life so it was great to see a partner who responded and we we felt with the perfect balance excuse the pun uh, between the encouragement motivation and support uh, and it was a brilliant example of a best balanced friend that any of us could have. So I hope if Emlyn is there, if he can say a few words. I don't know if you can see there, Rupal. If, yep, if, they're there. Hang yeah. on. He's just about to unmute. You're dizzy. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Emlyn. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, don't know what to say, really. Um, just, um, just to say, uh, I can understand, uh, I think, how you, some of you must feel. Um, I myself have uh, muscular dystrophy, and I was diagnosed uh, 10 years ago. Um, and uh, I'm lucky in the respect that uh, I've had an MRI that basically went down through my legs and showed where my muscles had turned to um, fat, basically, my hamstrings and stuff like that. Um, and uh, but for, for for you guys, um, there's no nothing visible, if you like, to to say. You know, they can't like take a scan of your brain and say, yeah, yeah, we can see what's wrong with you. We can help you. That kind of thing. Um, so, and uh, Susie's always, you know, like I said, I was diagnosed in 2013. She's always been there for me, and I just felt I had to do something for her, uh, like she's done for me, and try and help her get through this, basically. No, brilliant. Very good. And worthy, worthy winner. 
this this will be arriving around Christmas time. Thank for you. you. Thanks very much for such a great example. Thank and you. and thanks, Susie, for the nomination. Thank very you. good. Thank thanks. you. And the next category is Best Balance Friend of the Year, who is a member. Um, now, a lot of you will know I'm a great advocate of what we call member-to-member -member contact, and that for the new members, it's where you can opt in to share your email address or email and phone number and get to meet lots of fellow members. Um, the joy of this, you know, today is brilliant and our expert panels are brilliant, but this is only six times a year. But with contact with fellow members, you can be talking to people every day if you want to or once a week. And you'll be amazed, even with different balance conditions, how much you have in common. And the other thing, which I'm, I'm sure Dr. Ryan would explain, I, I just think it's miraculous. We gain so much from contact with other people, and especially those who get us, who they don't need to say, you look so well, and is it all in your mind? They know because they're going through what we're going through. So it's brilliant, and we do encourage this. And this award's fabulous because it's great to see that the group does work and bring bring people together and people gain from it. Um, so to announce the winner, the winner in this brilliant category is Amy Sparrow. And I don't know, Rupal, if you can see Amy's there. I, I wasn't sure whether Amy could attend. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. I just, yes. I've got a streaming cold, so I'm not going to turn all my right. camera on. <laughs> we, we can't catch it. We're fine. <laughs> oh, now, Amy, uh, um, older members will know of the group that Amy is a previous winner as well as outstanding member. Um, but I'm just going to run through. The nomination is by her friend and fellow member, Ellie Spencer. Um and this is, it was just wonderful to read this. And do remember there were many other nominations of what other members have been doing, which is brilliant. And Ali said she's met Amy through the group. Uh, Amy's giving her lots of advice and information, always trying to help. She totally understands what Ellie's going through. And, and that first thing, Amy helped her to understand that she was not alone. They're both, Ellie and Amy, are studying at university. So this, this was a key part to where Amy could help. Um, for example, helping Ellie get the disabled students allowance and a blue badge, other, other various things to apply for, and advice with coping with the university and the work that was required of her. Amy has, has given lots of encouragement, reassurance, and encouraged her not to give up with the, the vestibular rehab. It's also helped Ellie to, to accept the situation more than she had before. And that, that again was through the support and helped Ellie to understand more about balance disorders, how to manage it. And of course, we knew this already, Amy is a very, very nice person. She does give up so much of her time um, and really made great efforts to, to help Ellie. So as Ellie said, she really thinks Amy deserves the award. So do we. Um, what a brilliant example uh, of support through that contact. Um, and thank you, Amy. This is your second Dizzy. So that, that is an achievement in itself. But I wonder if I could ask you just to say a few words, please. Uh, thank you very, very much. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really nice emailing uh, Ellie as well. And um, just, I think it's been helping me as much as it's helping her, quite, um, you know, meeting someone else who's, who's similar to me and being able to use some of my less than pleasant experiences to to make something make something positive sorry if i'm not sounding very coherent <laughs> um, 
I'm nice. just a nasty but, cold at the moment. Um, I, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. No, well, thank you. And um, what a great job you've done in, in helping Ellie. Um, and now we get to the, the final category, uh, Best Member's Personal Journey. Uh, and this one we love. This this is about seeing people grow, um, get to a better place, whether that better place is the physical condition or with how we cope with it. Um, and normally, we must be honest, this, this award is normally shared by that person where the, it's very strange we ask them to nominate themselves, which is really difficult for anyone to do. But it's so good to share these stories, to give sort of in, inspiration and hope to others. In this case, um, it will be a little bit of a surprise or shock because this person has not nominated themselves. They have no idea <clears throat> this is coming. And the clue is the award that we've just seen, that we felt the, the award could only go to one person this year. And that was Ellie Spencer, who nominated Amy as best friend. So apologies for this, Ellie. We've tricked you into the Ellie. Ellie did say when Ellie was aware Amy was winning the award, she said, please don't make me speak because I'm quite shy. So I don't know whether we'll, we'll encourage her on in a moment. We'll see. Maybe RuPaul can, can encourage her. But if I just explain... Um, through Ellie's nomination of Amy, um, she revealed how much she'd gained this year and this amazing ability to go forward into university and, and study despite her own challenges um, was just amazing for us to see that growth and that, that growing in confidence, the practical help and the emotional support and see Ellie make such good use of that. Um, and in the judge's view, our view was what a, a key stage of Ellie's life for such a, a positive thing to happen. And that ability to go into university, and I'm sure thrive um, and prosper there, that will make such a change for the rest of her life. So it was just so wonderful to see that. And I know Ellie never intended <laughs> to win any award uh, and would be far too modest, but through her nomination, she revealed her own journey and we couldn't resist but to give her the dizzy, this prestigious award. So RuPaul, can you persuade Ellie? Is she there and will she speak to us? RuPaul, you're on mute. Or oh, Rupa, maybe RuPaul's. I think RuPaul may be on a on a break. So, are you there, Ellie? Can you can you say hi? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> apologies, <laughs> apologies for that, but so well done for your journey. I don't, can can you tell us a little bit more about about this year and university? Um. Well, I'm quite shocked about that. I didn't know that was going to happen. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's been obviously like really difficult and everything. And um, I've tried to still, you know, carry on with university, even though it's been really hard. Um, so I'm in my third year now and I'm doing fine art. Um, and kind of like, I'm just trying to, I still want to do really well, even though because of this, you know, um, um, I don't really know what else to say, but I just wanted to say thank you to Amy as well, because um, she has really, really helped me. So, No, it's lovely. Honestly, but thank you for sharing with us. Um, and I say it's so good to hear uh, of what you're doing, d despite the condition. So, guys, that is it for another year on the Dizzies. Uh, apologies for taking so long to run through it, um, but it it is so so important that we celebrate these people.